Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this night away. Night away. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. We are ready to go. Me with the cow print, hubby with the Star Trek luggage tags, right? We're at Philly International. We left midday just because I wanted to spend time with the girls. You know, I was a wreck, Kara, you know, with the dislocated knee and just leaving my girls, period. But this was way overdue and I was prepared with my iPad, right? And my coffee, right? I was good to go. We landed safely in Orlando. Girl, look at all this luggage. We went in a day early, girl, for that reason. But now this is day one. We at the cruise terminal, all nice and fresh and ready, right? There's our luggage. They're putting it up. We'll get that later sometime. We're in, you know, the terminal, right? Took us all but 10 minutes and we were on this ship. That's how quick it is. Look at the time. Mm hmm. So now it's about to go down. Why? Because this is the first adult cruise I've been on. It, before Sydney, and she's just turned 18. So girl, it's about to go down. But we're just walking around because our cabin is not ready yet. You see, they had a Starbucks. The Royal Promenade is on every Royal Caribbean ship. By the way, this is the Mariner of the Seas. And first things first, right? Remember, I told you the besties hubby is celebrating his 50th. That is why we are cruising. And the first stop was the bamboo room. He insisted. I was right along with it. So this drink on the run, right? We heard a lot about this. It looks like a Capri Sun. Girl, the bestie had two of them, right? <laughs> and her hubby threw some drinks back, right? I'm over here tasting some things, right? And then I'm tasting some more things. It was a, it was a whole thing going on, y'all, because... Is about to go down, right? So here we go. It's Monday. So this is the wind jammer. Um, if you remember, so this is more of the buffet style. All the ships have this, you know, Royal Caribbean known for the wind jammer. So you can kind of pick and choose what you want to eat. The dessert was always fire, right? So this is what I had. This was my lunch. So now we're just walking around because the cabin isn't ready yet. So we're just kind of touring, you know, taking in some sights right now. Your hands around my waist, just let the music play. Like a drug, I am hooked on you. Sweeter than summer wine. Baby, just so it's right around 1 p.m. and our cabin is ready. So if you guys have cruised with me back in August, you will notice that the cabin is a lot different then than it is now. Then we had a suite because we had the girls and we need room right now. This is an ocean view balcony and yeah, it's very different, but this is how me and hubby travel in the past before the girls. You know what I mean? We don't need all of that hoopla when it's just me and him. So this was fine. It was perfect. And I mean, how much time are we spending in the cabinet? All I need to do is take a shower and go to sleep. You feel me? So, girl. So, overlooking the Royal Promenade, right? Isn't it beautiful? Just kind of, you know, taking the camera up right? Just so you can see how tall and it's just so beautiful in here. But girl, we back at the bamboo room for round two. And here is the birthday guy. <laughs> the reason we are on this cruise, right? So we headed over to the helipad, right? So we got ships, you know, everybody's sailing away now around this time. It's about 430. You see a couple ships in front of us, one beside us, people waving, we waving. They honking horns to each other right the ships it's just a good time but the bestie was like 
I want to hear some music. I want to, you know, let's go find that. So we went to find that, the actual sail away party. So they jamming and clapping hands. Let's go. Yay. All right. Get your drink on and all of this. Right. So, yeah, I had to get on in and wobble, baby. Right. So I'm doing that. Busty was out there with me. She done set this one out now. So I'm out here doing my thing. And it's getting a little hot because earlier I had on like a jean shirt and I took that off, but uh, let's get it right. Boom. So then we got went, got freshened up and everything. And now we are at dinner, you know, in the dining room. This is where we ate every night. Menu was fire, right? Um, you know, always starting out with the bread, carving it up, <laughs> right? And yeah, so this is what I got down with on night one. Right, had a little fried chicken. You know, I gotta rock the cheesecake on my first night, always. I think that was hubby's. And then right after that, we went to the Royal Theater. I forget, I was thinking, what did we see? I don't even remember. Just some kind of, you know, singing and dancing, choreography going on, you know what I mean? And this was me every night with the besties hubby, you know, on the coffee. Girl, I ain't never drink so much coffee. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. But it was just so much fun, right? So that's what it's all about. This hubby trying to work the machine, right? Getting some mellow yellow going on, right? So day two, we are at sea. And this is what I'm talking about. I need that ocean view balcony. I need to be outside, right? So we doing breakfast, right? Those little triangle hash browns are fire. Girl, they are fire. So just walking around doing some things, right? I said, let me hit on down from the Royal Prom to the casino, see how they rocking. Because we had to see, you know, see what's going on. And this was like a glass bottom. Isn't that what you call it? It was freaking me out. I had to get off of it. So I'm just walking around. I'm kind of like all the way up now, like deck something, right? Mariner of the Seas going on. Oh, we forgot to take a picture in front of that. But yeah, I'm at the pool area. So yeah, just doing some things. Got the towel animal. We came back to our cabin in the suite that I was in. It was clean twice a day, but on here, it was clean once a day, which was fine, you know, so we picked the morning, but me and the bestie, day two, hit that wine tasting, right? It was called Women of Wine. It was, oh my goodness, I love this so much. I, Girl, I was in heaven. Y'all already know how I rocked the wine. So we had a champagne and we had three red and three white. Girl. <laughs> Your girl was stupid <laughs> by dinner. Oh, my goodness. But this was dinner. We had a hell of a good time. It was, I had so much fun. And this was our dinner. I feel like I got a shot of everybody. Something going on, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look good? So this was the night they sang happy birthday to the birthday guy, right? So he's over there taking it all in. It was our formal night, our one and only formal night. Um, I feel like six nights or more, you get the two formal nights because that's what it was when we cruised last time. So yes, happy 50th on that, right? Popping that. Yes, bottles are popping and we toasting and it was all good. So after dinner, um, it's usually some type of show or something that we do. So once we toasted it up, had some dessert, we were headed there. Now, this guy with the piano <laughs> is in like different parts of the ship. And at this particular moment, he was in the elevator. So the old door is open and dude in there playing the piano. Girl. <laughs> But yes, on day three, we are in Cozumel, Mexico. Yes, on that. Look at that. Beautiful. So I was really excited about this particular cruise because I've mainly been doing the Caribbean. So when they said it was going to Mexico, I was all about it. So 
yes on that, getting off. We had another ship parked next to us. I think it was another Royal Caribbean. I don't remember which one, but we're kind of walking around doing some things. Um, we were headed to our shore excursion, right? So we were going to this place right here, right? <laughs> Which is so hard to say, but we had an all day pass there where it was just all you can eat and drink. So um, yeah, we were all about that. But yeah, it was very chill, relaxed. It was probably my most favorite. And I think it had a lot to do with the fact that we were in Mexico. So yeah. So the birthday guy, all he wanted to do was snorkel when we got here. So he was testing the waters a little bit. You see him in there just rocking, right? And yeah, I'm just kind of walking around a little bit, just sightseeing and just taking it all in. And I did chillax and I walked on the sand, right, which felt so good. I relaxed and yeah, I just had a good time. But I was going from ocean to pool ocean, right? I was eating, girl, it was so much food, so much different food. So yeah, it was a really good time. I, I think we all had a good time in Mexico, right? Yes. Girl with the papaya. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we was doing it up. And then we discovered some other place, right? We didn't walk up the steps. Girl, we walked up the steps, found dude here making the green drinks. So we had to do that, right? It was a whole thing. And I was like, well, I, we need a to-go cup because we about to go back to the ship. So he gave me a cup and, I, you know, <laughs> I got in the van to go back to the ship. But before we did that, we did um, walk around, do a little shopping and things. I picked up some things. Hubby picked up some things, right? Go Eagles on that in Mexico. <laughs> Girl. So, yes. I did pick up one of these boxes. I thought they were so pretty. So I was thinking in the kitchen and then I was thinking, well, maybe it can hold my jewelry at night when I take it off. The bestie purchased one of those. And yeah, we were just still kind of looking around at some things. You know, we didn't stay there too long. We headed back. This is like all the alcohol people have been buying <laughs> to go back on the ship. So it's a few ships in port right now. But we are headed back, you know. We got to get in here, get ready for dinner, girl. So this particular meal, that's some escargot they had going on, right? I kind of switched it up because I wasn't happy. This is the birthday guy. I'm just taking his plate. And this is what hubby had. So I switched mine's out and got what hubby had. It was so good, girl. I was tearing it up. I didn't even know he was filming me with the Tabasco sauce, pouring that on there, right? All good. All good. So, yeah, headed over to Studio B afterwards. Um, I feel like was, I forget what, what show this was. Oh, Under the Big Top or something like that, right? She was doing some things and it was good. I enjoyed it. You know, it's an ice skating ring on the ship. And girl, it was chilly in there. I had to run to the cabin and get my sweater. Girl. <laughs> But it was really nice. We had an awesome time there. And then after that, we did a little, you know, adult comedy and then headed on into the next day, which was another day at sea. So I was feeling like some oatmeal and things. Then we headed to the schooner bar and we did like a Michael Jackson trivia. Me walking around again up here on this deck. I don't know why I liked it up there so much. And then we were determined to find where the captain was. So I knew it was like this hideaway place that you can go and find him. So we went to find him. And this is where he was. And you would think it would be a little bigger, but actually it wasn't. 
And he was in there and he turned around and he waved at us. And we were the only ones out here in this windy, windy, windy. But we found him. I was happy, right? So that was all good. And now I think we head on back in because we wanted to see who the world's sexiest man was. So that was a whole thing I had to get a drink for, girl. And yeah, it was a good time. Later on, we did the whole... Uh, love and marriage thing, which was hilarious, right? I never get to do it because it's always very late because it's very adult. You know what I mean? Some of the things they re- they're they always saying, you know, so <sighs> I got to keep it clean with the kids. But girl, I was cutting up. Look at that water. Mm. Oh, that- So this was our show for tonight. We're headed back into the theater. It was this guy blew our minds, let me tell you. And the theater was packed. I kind of never showed you this angle of it, but oh my goodness, it was such a good show. And then after that, of course, we went to get some coffee because now they got me doing that now, right? So this is like nine o'clock at night and they was doing an 80s party So we was jamming on a promenade deck, right? So that was fun. It was just, it was just a fun night, girl. And then still after that, we were still looking for stuff. So Battle of the Sexes, we won, of course, right? And it turned into a nightclub afterwards. We didn't stay too long for that, but... Day five, a perfect day at Coco K. And you guys have been here with me before. We were here on the last cruise, but it's very different when you don't have children with you. So um, a lot more adult on that. I did kind of just, you know, walked around. I mean, we kind of knew our way, hubby and I, because we had been there. But we did start off with a little breakfast first right at the wind jammer and then you know it's a short walk right over this is their private island royal caribbean so yes on that perfect day coco k yes so this time oh here's the birthday guy one more time right mm-hmm. had to get on with the ladies and coco k right so icon of the seas is parked right next to our ship Mariner of the Skis. Did you see the size difference on that ship? I think I do show it to you again later. So we decided to go to Chill Island. We did not. There it is. Girl. So that's the ship. That's the brand new ship. And I was really happy that I got a chance to see it. Now hubby want to go on it next year for Christmas. Adios meal. But It was very chill. We had a nice time over here, right? I think I got Bestie and her and the birthday guy over here in the water, right? I'm chillaxing. I think she gives us a little wavy wave at the end when she spots me. (laughs) But it was just so nice. And yeah, it was just a really good time here. So after lunch, we headed over to the Oasis Lagoon um, and it was, girl, we were here last time um, on the last cruise, but 100% different when you are chillaxing with adults. So yeah, there's that balloon over there. They had it grounded because of the wind, but this was our last like walk back to the ship. We were leaving the next day and, you know, you kind of just be like, oh, but there's that ship. I kind of got a little closer, um, the icon next to our ship, the Mariner. And I'm just kind of, you know, with the slow drag walking back because I know I got to get in here, get dressed, start packing. So 
But yes, you guys, that is the trip. I tried to uh, show you a little bit of everything without kind of taking away from my vacation. But girl, you know, I had to show you what was going on, right? So this is where we were. I was trying to just, I'm standing on my balcony and that is where we were. So um, that was like pretty neat to see. I didn't know that's where we were going to be before we got off, but little stragglers, right? I just happened to look over people running, girl, all aboard at 430 or your ass is going to get left right? So our wait staff was phenomenal. We gave them very good reviews. And on this cruise, me and the bestie were able to do things that neither one of us had done on other cruises. Like we would go get free bracelets. Like we got so many bracelets to bring home to our daughters and things, you know, while we were on a cruise. Like I've never done that. She's never done that. So it was really fun. We were like checking the time, like we got to go get our bracelets. <laughs> you know, I had to get that one last drink and it was was just really fun and I'm glad they included us. We had an amazing time. So I hope we get to do it again, an adult cruise again soon, right? But I hope you enjoyed it, you guys. I'm gonna leave you with the waves and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.